Ooh, cut my head off. Alright guys, it's Thursday. <clears throat> I'm here outside. A little after 9 o'clock. Uh, it's about 31, 32 degrees outside. <clears throat> a little warm, losing my voice. Um, already got everything moved into place. I'm nice and sore from yesterday if you followed along the week. I uh, had a log press session on Sunday. Uh, lots of deadlifts on Monday. Got me nice and sore. Packy still works in this heat. Oh, well, there's no sun. It's the sun here that tears everything up. Does not want to stick. Put some on a stone. Oh, I'm already sweating. See, I'm trying to get tacky, more tacky on the stone than I am on me. The dry stone, I'm wet. This tacky is great. I can drag it down and trap around. See, I've touched the stone once, and that's me. You can imagine three sets. But my goal is, is even if there's a bare spot on me, to already have some. There could be some tacky on stone, so I still grab it. One. Set one. It's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. That's a. Um, I've got rocks and everything all over me. It's not heavy, it's not getting a good grip on it. 
maybe I'm weak, but uh, it's, it's not bad. Um, held up for five reps, matches what I did a month ago with the uh, uh, the smaller stone, the 85 kilogram stone, 190 pounds, whatever that is. So can't complain, can't complain. Two more sets to go. I don't care what the reps are. I definitely could have used the fan. Made a motorcycle wall this week. I don't know what the ban is, but to prevent people from riding through neighborhoods making loud noise. People are complaining. Nobody does that. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you can hear them in the background or not. Me. That was set two in the bag. Honestly, rep one and two felt so good. I thought I could just go forever. But, uh. Reps number three and four, all glutes and hams. Uh, tired. That's okay. That's okay. I'm on par. I'm using a 105 stone compared to an 85 stone. So it's, it's 20 kilos heavier, uh, 45 pounds heavier. That works. Getting the same thing as I did a month ago. Still nervous, I don't want to tear a bicep. So I know I'm supposed to push on these, but getting an injury doesn't help. I would rather not push on this. I'd rather, rather repeat the whole 12 week cycle again and set PRs again, uh, you know, 12 weeks from now. I'd really come back 12 weeks from now and get uh, seven, six, and five, instead of five, four, and three. That'll be fine, that'll be progress. I've got to think long-term, not short-term. There's no competitions at all for a year. And I mentioned before, I haven't done stones in a contest since 2009. Uh, so, getting stronger on this, Basically, this is the back and bicep day, and uh, you know I tore my bicep in December on stones on a 365 stone. Made a technical mistake, and uh, a lot of this is me getting back and getting stronger. Not just walking out and saying, "Okay, I'm going to do some stones this week." Something heavier next week. Something heavier next week. Uh, this is me having a long-term program. And if I have a long-term program, if you have a long-term program. A six month plan, a 12 month plan on something like stones. It doesn't have to be all out every single week. It doesn't have to be all out ever. Uh, I think what the big thing was, was that Kilzakowski came out with a training video a couple weeks ago. And uh, he does a lot of his training with like 60% of contest weight. And uh, you know, you, sh you show up fairly healthy, strong, athletic, and not beat up. So. That's what I'm trying to do, I'm trying really hard to do. So if I can finish this 12 week program, I don't have to get stronger. I just have to finish 12 weeks of loading in a row and then I can repeat it. You know, I'll figure out what, which parts work best for me, which parts don't and uh, double down the parts that do, get rid of the parts that don't and just keep repeating it nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. That's how I got uh, a 957 box squat 
two, two and a half years of just, you know, not increasing my, my training max whenever I thought I should be able to. But having a four week training max, and then I'm simply saying, you know what, that was really light. I need to bump that up. But you know, if training light got me progress, why would I change it? So then I would repeat the exact same four week block, exact same weights, and I would break every PR by a rep or I would do it easier or in less time and then I could repeat it again a third time and get another rep uh, or do it even easier or do it in a shorter time period that's a PR and then after 8 to 12 weeks then I would add 10 pounds to my training max then I would repeat the whole thing over again did that for a long time I think when I box squatted 957 all of my training maxes for let's say three months at least leading up to that was 880 so I trained with everything based on 880 uh, and then I think I, I hit like a 910 in the gym and then a couple weeks later I hit a 957 so I need to I need to be smart to adopt that hope you do too let's get ready for set number three Yeah, mouthpiece with no hands, sweat in the eyes. Beard stuck to my chest. Set three, not bad. I had it in my mind that I really wanted four because I only got three. Uh, a month ago with a lighter stone and it feels good it feels pretty solid today surprisingly enough I convinced myself that it was going to be a bad day and it wasn't well let me, let me get this off first that sounds bad let me just sit down All right, and I've already been over my hand once with WD-40 to get the grease off, to get all the tacky off. And that's still what's on there from the stone. After one good once over with WD-40 already. So those stones are pretty messy. They're also almost 20 years old. Strong men cologne. You laugh. This drives the strong men and women crazy at contests. They will be all over you. All over you. Start dabbing tacky, WD-40, a little bit of nose torque behind your ear. If you can reach it, use this hand to reach that ear. The women will be everywhere. That's how I keep my wife. Come home smelling like this. Man. She cannot keep her hands off of me. Grabbing, pushing, pulling. Always trying to get me in the shower. Throwing soap at me. Man. It's a unique life.
All right, guys, that was the third set. Um, that was the full training session. Uh, can't complain. Five, four, and four. Um, you know, that's, that's an extra rep. And, and uh, what? 20 extra kilos on the stone. So um, I will say that I, I, I'm getting to the point where I feel that every time I get away, every time I finish a, a loading day, a Thursday, um, I feel like I've gotten away with, without an injury. Uh, it's, I don't know if it's in my head or if it's actually this is kind of like my most dangerous day. Uh, I know deadlift days, you know, I'm still feeling my hamstring and I'm still a little bit weary of my back, but my back, I'm confident that I can work that out on the reverse hyper. Pretty much almost, you know, no matter how bad that gets, um, I can work my back out on the reverse hyper. The hamstring still, you know, I'm afraid of my hamstring on deadlifts. I still feel it a little bit, but I'm getting more confident in it every single week. And then yesterday I did uh, the box squats and the glute ham raises. And the glute ham raises were one of those things where, um, you know, three weeks ago I couldn't do a reverse hyper. My hamstring hurt so bad. There's no curl in that, uh, but it's a stress and a stretch on it. So yesterday I did, you know, four reps or six reps, I think just four on the glute ham raises. Um, and the hamstring contracted fine. I, from what, it felt like it contracted fine. And then I got up off the glute ham raise machine and, and said, well, you know, I can, I can use it. The hamstring works. Uh, and then it, you know, it began locking up after that. So I don't think that's a bad sign. Um, I think it's a sign that I've got to work on the glute ham raises and I've got to fix for the hamstring as well. You know, I do worry about the biceps on this. Um, I do worry about lats a little bit. I do worry about my pecs a little bit, but uh, you know, most of it is, is, you know, it's bicep oriented and I keep tearing the bicep from under the shoulder um, and I've got huge holes on both biceps from under the shoulder. So uh, it ties into the pec and you know, every time that, that bicep even pulls, my press gets weaker. Um, and you know, that's, that's a very common thing with that proximal bicep tear. So. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I do worry about it. I know that I'm not recovered from yesterday. And I didn't come out here today fully, um, you know, fully loaded with, with food and sleep with a perfect day. Uh, but I did the best I could before I got out of here, hitting everything with the massage gun, um, stretching, hydrated as much as I could. And, you know, it's, it's, it's hot. I'm, I'm sweating. It's above 90 degrees out here at 10 o'clock at night. But um, got through the session. And I'm maintaining the plan. So, uh, you know, that, that's, that's the big thing. And I hope you took that away from the mess, you know, what I said after the second, after the second run. And, you know, try to play that long game. It's better to hold back a little bit than play the long game. Um, unless you have to go. And then if you really have to go, um, I suspect that's best saved for contest day anyway. That's the day that you have to go. Harley. Attack dog. So the, the plan from here is to come back next week on this day. And uh, you know, I need... So the plan next week is to come back on, on this day, the night, uh, with a sandbag that's somewhere around 100 kilograms, 220 pounds. Um, you know, if I can get something to 105, even 110, uh, you know, 230, 240, something of that nature, that's fine as well. And I believe the plan will be three sets of, you know, three sets of max reps, three sets of hard work. Uh, so if I can match something like what I did today, uh, that'll be great. Um, it all depends on, on the sandbag and, and, you know, what I can fill it with and, and how that's going to feel. I think I can take that sandbag that I've already got, open it back up and stuff some more stuff in there and, and get that to close enough to where it needs to be. And the week after that, I'll be back out here with this very same stone. Um, hopefully right here and uh, I believe it's somewhere around five sets of five that'll be the goal then I'll come back with the sandbag uh, for three sets of three except I'll try to do those three sets of three to something higher what I hope happened just I obviously haven't reviewed the video yet uh, you guys have seen it what I hope happened is on my very my last two reps that I did uh, of the, the full day especially the very last one what I've been working on is bringing my stance in because, you know, you get to a contest and you've got to get that heavy stone to a really high platform 
Uh, and you know, one of the easiest way to do, to, to, ways to do that is to get your feet exactly shoulder width. You know, the, the point that you can be your absolute tallest. If you're really wide stanced, you're not gonna be able to stand as tall as you possibly can. So, you know, you need to bring your feet into that point to where you can be as tall as you can be, not always as strong as you can be, uh, leverage wise. And at that point, I'm hoping that I got up on my toes, that I arched back, um, and, and that I somewhat got my knees somewhat straightened a little bit. Uh, if, if I go back six months ago, um, it was physically impossible for me to go from a rounded position to an arched position in my back. Even sitting here like this, it was physically impossible for me to go from rounded to arched and up. I could go rounded and arched, but I couldn't go rounded, arched, and up. Uh, I'm still having issues with the log when I'm here, uh, you know, getting in that position and extending up. My spine still doesn't want to completely go in that direction. Or I'm just, you know, continually relearning motor patterns. But, um, you know, being where I've been the last six weeks or so, out here and, and my, my back has been like that for more than a year probably closer to two that I can't go from rounded to straight which has hurt me on stones because I can't get on my toes and if I can get on my toes I'm stuck forward I don't have the ability to round back like this with that stone and and bring the stone up uh, to load it onto a platform so what I'm hoping that I did today was got on brought my feet in got on my toes extended up, extended back, and then was able to straighten my knees just a hair to show that the hamstrings, the back, uh, those, little, those little tiny muscles that go up the edge of the spine begins with an M. I can never think of it when I want to think of it, but th that those muscles are actually work to extend my body and my spine up uh, and that I can get the motor pattern working correctly with all the muscles. That's how. If I did it, I'm probably gonna show you video and screen, still screenshots of me in that position, uh, I'll be so proud. And if I didn't, I'll probably cut this whole segment out because I don't want to talk about it. But uh, that's the goal. You know, upon the strength and the biceps, and this being a bicep and back day, um, and a little bit of recovery from yesterday's training, you know, that's what this needs to be. This needs to be me getting the motor patterns down for movements that that I haven't been able to do in a long time. So if I can get that down with a lightweight, that's that's the start, is to get this down with a lightweight. And normally what I would have done is come out here on week one and done that stone for a couple of reps, maybe maybe five, and then called it quits. And next week I would have went up at least one stone, if not two stones, and tried the same thing. And probably week three or week four, I would have hit a wall. You know, my back would have been hurting. So what I'm at now is I am six weeks deep. I'm at least six, maybe eight weeks, six. I'm at least six, maybe seven weeks deep in, into this training. Uh, and I'm just now at that stone hitting this point. And I've got another six weeks to go before I finished round one of this program. Um, so I've got time. I've just got to stick with the program. And uh, I think that's part of my back healing that's hopefully that'll be a sign of my maturity and not my immaturity so if you listen to this i hope that you stick around in another six weeks um and, and another 18 weeks and you're coming back and listening to me again and uh you're like you know what he did what he said he was going to do he was smart uh and if i didn't then feel free to point that out it'll really suck when you do but poke the bear if I didn't stick to the plan and I end up in a bad spot because I didn't stick to the plan, you can remind me. So I'm gonna go inside. My son got some board games. We're hanging out and I'm gonna go inside like this. My wife will probably have her hands all over me. Uh, probably rubbing soap all over me and then spraying me with a water hose. But uh, I'm gonna go have some fun. We'll see you guys on Sunday.